go. Master craftsman Sean Hall of Sean's Piano in West Hartford, Connecticut, has a passion for uncovering the secrets of the original craftsman who built the pianos he has spent the last 40 years restoring to discover the many details and small nuances hidden away in their work that made the great piano makers truly great. Sean not only restores the structure and cabinetry of these great instruments, he is also one of only a handful of soundboard makers in the country who possess the skill to recreate and restore the sound of a piano to have the energy and richness of tone that time slowly erodes over the decades or sometimes over a century of use. It's as if the pianos themselves know where to come because he rarely has to look for something special. Somehow the special pianos find him. I got a call one day about an unusual piano and I went up to see it and I really got excited about it. So I got it home and I was laying in bed that night about two o'clock in the morning I'm thinking about this piano and I know I've seen it before. I didn't know where. So I got up, went into my library, went through some books and they found a picture of it up on the sawhorses with the father and son craftsmen who were the carvers. Because it has some very unusual details about it that until you really start to study it or it's pointed out, you don't really get the full value of it. And then as I've been studying this, I find some very interesting things underneath where they were carving. Unusual places. I say, why, why would they carve up inside there? No one will ever see it. And then I'm thinking about the father and son. So the father is the great master, and the son wants to be the great master. And we all want to be better than our mentor. The father's on one side of the piano carving, and the son's on the other. So as I'm looking around, I'm thinking these extra details that you don't normally find are there because of the father and son. One saying, I'll show you, and then the son says, no, dad, I'll show you. And then we have this magnificent piece that is a, a story in itself. This gorgeous mahogany Model B was custom designed in May 1900 for Mrs. E. H. Bliss of New York City in Steinway's renowned art case department, which was managed at that time by Joseph Burr Tiffany. The gracefully carved acanthus and other floral elements are combined with horns, harps and violins, all carved in relief from solid mahogany and gilded in the style of Louis XV. The elegantly carved legs are positioned on the front corners of the piano, which is most unusual, and the back leg is also curved, adding to its length, because at 7 feet 1 inch, it's 2 and a half inches longer than a standard Model B. The carving is most probably the masterful work of Juan Ayuso and his sons, who were also responsible for carving one of Steinway's most famous pianos, the Gold Grand, which was presented to President Theodore Roosevelt in 1903 in honor of the company's 50th anniversary. So what I'm interested to find out is where the signature of the carvers are hidden in the design somewhere, I'm sure. The more I look at it, the more I love it. This is such an amazing piece. I've been studying it, and what I see is they took a solid piece of mahogany and they had one shot to get it right. It's very, very special. It's pretty exciting for me, 40 years in the piano business, to have such a special piano and to look at what the father and son craftsmen did and for me to uncover their secrets. It's truly a work of art.